Drill down pages are used when you want to drill down to view more details about a selected record, or drill down to view related records. Let's take a look at how to implement a drill down page. In this example, we're displaying records in a table, and we want to add a drill down page where we can drill down and display more details about each record. To create a drill down page, right click on the data page, and then select Insert New Drill Down Page. Give the page a name and select the drill down target. When drilling down to view more details of a record, the drill down can be left on Same as Parent. Next choose a layout template. When drilling down to display details of a single record, we always select the vertical listings layout template because it's designed to show a single record. Next we can format the record output using the rich text editor. You can switch to source code mode and use HTML here. Or use the formatting options of the editor. We'll use tables here to help control the layout. Let's insert some wildcards about the record. On the first column of the table, insert the label that corresponds to the wildcard. You can also right click the table and click Table Properties to make any additional changes. After we select Save, a preview of our page is loaded in the Workflow Designer. You can see a preview of a single record is shown. You can control which record is previewed by changing the drill down preview settings in the Data Property panel. By default, our layout has a border around it and highlights on rollover. You can also see it has a displaying one of one message. We can modify these settings in the Property panel. We can also adjust the margins and padding as we are doing here. Next, let's add some text to this page and a link to go back to the previous page. Under General Settings, click Opening Content and launch the editor. Here we can insert wildcards from the parent record using the wildcard menu to display a reference to the record we are editing. This is more frequently used when drilling down into a related set of records where we want to show a reference to the parent record. We can also use the workflow link menu to insert a link that will take us back to the previous page. To do so, click the workflow link toolbar icon. Choose Back to Parent Page from the Link Type menu and click Next. Select Use Button and enter the button settings. Now that we've created our drill down page, we still need to have a link to it from the Parent Data page. To do this, click on the Parent Page. If the Parent Page uses a table layout, we can select our drill down page under the drill down on row click menu, or we can insert a link manually into one of these table cells, or the layout markup when we're not using the table layout. Let's open the column config property and add a link to one of the columns. Here we'll add a new text column. And then edit the cell template. Add the text View Details and then click the Workflow Link icon in the toolbar. Select our drill down page and complete the wizard.
Now let's preview the workflow and test our drill down link. As you can see, we can now drill down to view the details of a selected record. Next, let's look at how to drill down to view related data. In this example, we want to view the employee record from the employees table that corresponds to the employee ID. Right click on the pending request page and choose Insert Drill Down Page. Name the page Employee Details and select Alternate Data Source from the Drill Down Page Target menu. In the data source, select the Employees table. Click the Edit Drill Down rule and create a rule that says only display records where the record ID matches the parent record ID. Choose the vertical layout again and create a simple layout that displays the employee info. After clicking Finish, a preview of the page is shown in the Workflow Designer. We could link this drill down page the same way we linked the last one, but instead, let's plan to show it in a pop up window. For this to look good, we'll want to make it very plain and sharp. Hide the displaying one of one message first. Then hide the header, hide the footer, and hide the main menu. After updating these settings, we have a very basic layout that we can use in our pop up. Returning to the pending request page, Let's make the employee ID a link that will open a lightbox and show the drill down page with employee details. Open the column configuration wizard and edit the employee ID cell template. Highlight the employee ID and click the workflow link icon. Choose our drill down page and select to open it in a lightbox. Adjust the lightbox settings and save. Let's generate a preview now and see how this works. After logging in, we can now click on an employee ID to view the employee details in a lightbox. Before we finish, we'll demonstrate how you can edit existing links. Open the column config and then edit the cell template on for the employee ID. Here we can right click on the link and choose edit link to open the workflow links editor. Drill down pages can also be used to drill down into additional data sets for display. For example, you could list all customers and then drill down to display all orders for the selected customer and then drill down again to view the order details. Drill down pages are a flexible way to build powerful workflows.